Well, I finally got this fuel injector cleaner working. A um, couple things that happened here. Number one, they didn't give me the plugs for the empty holes, so I got a couple dummy fuel injectors um, plugged in there instead. Number two, um, when I got this thing, the pump would not work. I had to modify the circuit board in order for it to. Apparently, whenever they designed this thing, they forgot to give it the input signal to turn on. So I had to take the opto isolator out of the drive board to get it to run. Of course, that means it runs all the time now. But that's something I'll take care of at some point. But I just thought I would run it through a quick cycle here. And we'll see what happens. One problem that I don't like is the pressure varies entirely too much. I have to actually start a cycle, adjust that pressure to the correct number which is about three bar and then shut the cycle off dump the graduated cylinders and then start the cycle over again so I've got I'm in contact with the uh, people that made this thing I'm gonna try and get a little bit of money off on this because I'm gonna have to put some money into this to turn it into an accurate um, piece of test equipment and I'll show you what I mean right here I'll hit to open this up but I'll hit this button right here See how the pressure drops on that? It really shouldn't, really shouldn't do that. If um, they had it set up right, the pressure would stay st steady. So what I have to do is I have to hit this button and start it, and then adjust the pressure to where I want it while it's running. Of course, that means you start off with a higher pressure than what you need. But it has been um, pretty repeatable. I've done probably about 10 different runs on this particular st step and none of the uh, fuel injectors have varied from the previous numbers. Each individual injector from its individual previous number by more than maybe one or so milliliters. So it does seem to be pretty repeatable. But let's just uh, go through a one minute cycle here and then that's all I'll do for now. I'll go through some of the rest of this some other time. Pressure does hold steady once the test starts. Okay, there it shut off, and of course I'm using mineral spirits, which isn't the correct test fluid, so you get some foaming, but the uh, number two injector over has always consistently flowed more than the other three, and the other three are always reasonably close to the same, about 82 or so. So that's about 12 tests on this particular function I've done and it's all it's repeated the same every single time. So it is a repeatable unit. It's just kind of a pain having to adjust that because every single test you have to adjust that even say on the idling test. Just I'll show you here what happens on the idling test. I'll go back up to number two. Of course it doesn't pulse as much. So you have to adjust that pressure for each different cycle that you do, which that's okay if you're only using this thing for yourself once in a while. But if you're using this on a daily basis, and I, you know, I hope to be testing a lot of fuel injectors at some point, that's just not acceptable. So I'm trying to get some money off on this thing, and then I'll design a uh, regular closed-loop PWM system so that that uh, 
pump pressure stays the same regardless of whether the pulse widths are fast or slow. But I just thought I'd show this.